Hi guys and welcome to Bushtweek. My name is Bent and this is my first video on YouTube. Wherever you are in the world, I'm so happy to have you along with me today. On this channel I will be going into the woods to tweak my bushcraft skills. I will be doing uh, gear reviews, fire hacks and live testing. In this video I will be showing you a rope lighter, how to use it, the pros and cons of it. I will also throw in some uh, tinder and kindle tips in the mix. Let's go! Okay guys, so here is the ship lighter in the pouch. I have charred it so it's ready to go. Let's light it and uh, see if we can get an ember. Yeah. One little spark and it ignites. Pull it out so you can see better. I will now try to put it in my uh, tinder nest. Okay guys, so uh, I will be making the grass like a bird's nest. I will throw, throw some of the fine stuff in here. It, need, it needs three components to get a fire. It's heat, material and air. It's the triangle of fire. So I will throw this old man's beard in the middle, fluff it up. Get it evenly spread so the heat can disperse and we hopefully reach a point of combustion. There we go. If we take this, uh, this resin we found earlier, I will show you how good it burns. Mm. 
still good. What do we have here? Treasure. This is uh, very good for starting fire. As you can see in the tree, it has collected um, sap. It's like it's a burnable collection of uh, oils. It has hardened. This will be very nice today. Try to melt it a little. If I try to have a thick lump, you can see. You can see the smoke coming off it. it burns very hot with a dark black smoke and it puts out a lot of heat Okay guys, so for a final conclusion on this rope lighter, I think it's excellent. Its uh, pros is that it's windproof, it has no flammable liquid or gas, so it never evaporates or goes out of fuel as long as you have cotton. And it's a renewable and readily available uh, material. Traditionally, 
I guess this lighter has many advant advantages when used on ships, trenches, yeah, and on uh, trips like this in the woods. In the trenches, it has an obvious advantage when snipers are lurking in the night that you don't have a visible flame but a small ember. Uh, on the ships, lighting uh, lanterns and fuses on cannons would be very beneficial when it's high wind. A flame would go out immediately. So as long as you have a flint and rope, you're good to go. So guys, if you like this video, please hit like, share and subscribe. Write comments, I would love to hear from you. And uh, I will see you on the next video.